I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your feeder flash for Tuesday, September the 19th, brought to you in part by Bovalus Vision, which is a clostridial vaccine that spurs cattle forward and never backward. Also, if you buy one, each bottle enters you into a monthly drawing for a Greeley Hatworks fancy cowboy hat. For more information, go to power buy spur com. Also, Beaver County Stockyards, Beaver, Oklahoma, they're going to have a good sale here for the regular cattle auction on Tuesday. Got 2,800 head or thereabouts, uh, expecting about 600 head of calves. A lot of them are going to be fancy. Uh, they're starting to get some of their better uh, producers bringing those calves in. Some of them are going to be really fancy, most of them weighing from four to 600 pounds, but only about 25% of them are going to be weaned. Uh, they've got about 2,000 yearlings, uh, and they're going to be some of the nicest they have too. They've got over 13 loads of 8 and 9 weight yearling steers. Some of them be all black, and some of them be really, really top quality front end kind of yearling feeder cattle. They've got over 9 loads of 8 weight heifers to sell. So if you're looking for something like that, get on to dvauction.com view and bid that sale be sure to call them earlier and, and uh, get uh, approved for that sale they're going to have uh, three or four hundred cows there included in that is a 62 head dispersal of Hereford bred cows all from one man about half of them are going to be six years and younger uh, the other half are going to be short and solid mouth to aged cows uh, but they're all due to calve January the 1st so check out Beaver County Stockyards at dvauction.com here on Tuesday. The board giveth and the board taketh away. Uh, we, we saw the board jump up really big uh, late last week and, uh, and hit some heights that we didn't think we were going to hit anytime soon. And we didn't expect that Monday it would take so much of it away, especially on feeder cattle. And why so much on the feeder cattle, I don't understand. Your grains continue to drop, although it's herky-jerky, but uh, grains are, are continuing, continuing to drop. Uh, you, we did see uh, your, your fat cattle market come up in the Southern Plains even. Wow, Southern Plains uh, negotiated fed cattle sales gained two to three dollars. When do we see that? Never hardly, but we did see it last week, late last week. Congratulations to the few guys that hung out. I told you last Thursday, or on our Friday visit last week, which was up through Thursday, uh, that the best they had was 177 bids. Big deal, uh, and how funny that was. And then they end up trading cattle from 182 to 183 in the Southern Plains. That's great. Uh, but your, your live cattle futures, uh, they... They uh, came. They launched on uh, on Friday, and then they came back down some on Monday, but not that much. But uh, still, your spot October live cattle futures contract is trading at a big premium to what your cash negotiated trade is. It's trading over one eighty six thirty. Well, you know we're not we're not going to get within two dollars of that on your five area, and not going to get within four dollars of that in the Southern Plains, but. Uh, the feeder cattle dropped, and uh, and the feeder cattle are going crazy in, in your feed in your sale barns. And uh, why are they going so crazy? Because it looks like that this cattle market's going to stay good for so long. I keep telling you guys for at least two years, more likely three years. And now I'm going to say something that's going to make some of you guys angry, uh, and you might even turn this off. Why uh, do we think that feeder cattle are going to continue to go up? because feed is cheap and plentiful. You're, you guys in Central Texas are, are, are gritting your teeth right now. The problem is freight is not. Uh, I just got back from the, the west, uh, western part of the United States, Nevada, Oregon, California. Hay is plentiful. I mean, there's hay everywhere and it's gotten absolutely cheap talked to a man out there said he bought some real real nice hay uh, alfalfa type hay there reality feed value was just a tick under what your dairies prefer and some of your hay people prefer but really outstanding hay 
buys it for $150 a ton. It costs $300 a ton uh, out here in the central part of the country, uh, and, and we're fairly short of it, especially in the southern plains. But uh, some, some cheap cow hay uh, it is fairly plentiful up in the Midwest and places. I mean, it, it has weeds in it and things like that, but it's something they can chew on whenever uh, the, the snow's deep. It'll keep them alive. Uh, we're going to have tons and tons of silage. Uh, the silage choppers have been going by like wild here for the last several weeks. Uh, and, and all your silage pits are going to be full and the bags are going to be stacked up around everywhere, those that bag it. Uh, lots of silage chopped. And corn uh, looks to be good. I, I know your, your Chicago Board of Trade corn futures don't like to admit it uh, whenever they come out with a bearish uh, corn report, but there's lots of corn out there. The corn crop is much better than they thought it was going to be. These new hybrids are resilient. Uh, they, they can withstand uh, pretty long spans without, uh, without moisture uh, if they catch up. They don't have to be as timely as what they used to be years ago. And it looks like we're going to have a really good corn crop uh, already. Uh, our cash corn is looking cheap compared to a year ago and longer. And, uh, and so these, these feeder cattle are really a buy. Now, some of those traders in Chicago don't really understand that, and they think, oh, we need to pull back uh, on our, on our uh, uh, corn uh, futures there. But that's not really the case, and, and I don't think we've seen high yet. Uh, we're, just, we're just continuing to see things line up for, for all-time record high prices, and, uh, and I think that's great. Uh, like I said, I'm still worried about... Uh, beef becoming such a luxury item that we that most people can't afford it. I think we're we're getting close to that now with uh, Magoo's inflation that we've got right now. Uh, your fuel is is creeping up. It's getting really expensive for everything. And uh, but I think you have to realize uh, if you're not in Central Texas or in Louisiana or in some place that's horrible horrible dry right now, uh, you can get your hands on some feed. Uh, the problem is when you put wheels under that feed, then it's not as, as uh, affordable. But especially as a percentage of what cattle are worth, feed is pretty cheap, guys, if you compare it back uh, to some other times. Uh, I haven't talked uh, about what you can buy some cattle worth the money for, some that might actually, uh, you know, make some money for you. Uh, you know, what are these big yearlings bringing, these big fancy yearlings? Weighing in the nine, selling high in the sales, uh, they're they're bringing like twenty five hundred bucks a head. What are the plain yearlings weighing about the same? Bringing maybe like twenty three fifty, not too bad. Uh, it, uh, do you want a blue ribbon or do you want to make some money? Uh, and there's some cattle that you can get out of Central Texas where it's really dry. They're plenty good enough. They're mostly solid colored. Uh, they're they're healthy. You got you got to straighten them up. You got to keep them alive. But you can make some money. My buddy Ellison Carter, he, he buys cattle out of uh, out of uh, forty or fifty sales, uh, depending on how bad he needs them every week down there in Central Texas. He can put them together for you and ship them to you uh, to your order. Steers and bulls. There, this is a delivered price, mostly in Southern Kansas. Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle coming from around Weatherford, Texas there at Santo, Texas. But how about some steers and bulls delivered? Uh, weighing 280, uh, cost 293 delivered. Some 365 pound good quality steers and bulls at 280. How about 395 pound steers and bulls delivered to Kansas, fancy kind for 287. Uh, 415 pounds delivered to Oklahoma for 260, 485 pound load uh, for 247, all steers 490 pound load delivered to the Panhandle for 264, and uh, some 695 pound yearlings uh, all steers for local uh, delivery there at 240. But heifers. Uh, and Ellison tells me there's big runs because it's been so dry. It continues to be dry, but the cattle are in really good condition. Most of them have weaned themselves 
uh, got a hard look to them and don't look as soft and susceptible to uh, breaking on you as normal. But look at your heifers. How about a load uh, delivered weighing 305 for 245? Load weight 355 delivered for 239. Load weight 410 pound. Uh, good quality heifers at 236. Load at 460 pounds delivered at 232. Uh, 545 pound load at 227. A 565 pound load at 221. A load of fancy heifers, be mostly black and charlets, uh, 560 pounds delivered for 224 not that much difference in, in the plainer ones and the fancier ones guys just like some of these sales uh, but uh, a load of yearlings uh, that'd be really nice 660 pounds for local delivery at 215 so if you're interested in that get a hold of ellisoncartercattle.com how about your board uh, look at your board for, for Monday, October Live Cattle Futures, like we talked, down 60 cents. That's down pretty good, but not horrible. 186.32, still a big premium to your cash prices. December down 82 cents at 191. Your back months uh, were all down from as little as a quarter. That was your farthest out traded month to as much as 140 lower. September feeder cattle down big, down 312. I know we saw big gains last week, but taking them mostly back there on Monday, down 312 at 254 and a quarter, still trading at a premium to what your index values are. October down 352 at 260.95. Now the rest of your uh, back months of, uh, of uh, feeder cattle contracts were lower, but not that much, ranging from 170 lower to 270 lower. December corn down four and three quarter cent at 471 and a half. Uh, November new crop beans down 23 and a half cents at 13, 16 and three quarters. Kansas City hard red winter wheat for December down 11 and a half at 735. And all your ag commodities were just a lot lower uh, to start the week out here. The weighted average on last week's negotiated fed cattle trade out of your five area feeding region was 60,400 head, quite a bit bigger than the previous week, holiday week at 47,200, although they were not buying for a holiday week. Uh, and that 60,400 we had last week was similar to the same week a year ago at 59,400. But your live sales of uh, fat steers and heifers in your five area feeding region ranged from 180 to 186, at steady to a buck higher. Your weighted average on live steers in the five area was 184.04, up a dollar 76, with fairly significant trade in your southern plains, two to three higher. Your dress sales, uh, steers and heifers ranged from 286 to 293, with a weighted average of dress steers at 291.84, and that was up 236, with late higher dress trade that happened on Friday. Uh, and I guess we're all going to go, we're just going to go to a Friday trade and late Friday. Uh, so nobody knows really what's going on until midday on Monday. But as a whole, your Northern Plains uh, traded late 184 to 186, which was a buck higher. Uh, your dress trade uh, late was, was 292 to 293, which would have been two bucks higher on the late trade compared to earlier in the week and the previous week. And your Southern Plains traded late. 182 to 183 in Texas and Kansas, and that was two to three bucks higher. So that, that's uh, significant gains there in a negotiated market that's hard to get a handle on, uh, but it did offer some uh, price discovery late in the week, and that's really what we want it for. Nationwide, they sold 74,000 cattle negotiated. About 10% of them is all uh, were for the two to four week delivery. So that's a good sign. They're not getting a foothold for those although they are trying to buy basis cattle uh, and they've got most of the cattle tied up in a formula out front but uh, they're still going to have to get in there and buy a few cattle negotiated. Uh, negotiated grid was 41,300 movement last week. Forward contracting was 87,500. That was fairly sizable and your formula trade last week was big at 294,100 head. That's how all your cattle are sold but they have to wait till the 74,000 uh, are sold to establish a price. 
tail wagging a dog, guys. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And the four out of the five area uh, feeding region that we get information from, Iowa sold 24,100 last week. Decent for the way things have been, but most of the time it'd be 30,000. Nebraska sold 22,000 last week. Uh, that's better than what we've been seeing, but they would uh, normally be 30 or 35,000. Kansas sold 8,800, which is fairly typical. Texas only 5,500 heads sold last week. Box beef cutout values were mixed, but we may be near the bottom here, or finding a little bit of traction. Choice cuts on Monday afternoon down 39 cents at 305.32. Selects up 29 cents at 283.41. Your slaughter for the first day of the week, only 121,000 expected to be harvested. That is light. And your Packers just continue to put the brakes on this harvest. That's 4,000 head lighter than the same week uh, in the same uh, day a year ago. Talk about what else is going on. Night Latch Group, that's Laverne, Oklahoma, Andy Cunningham. He can teach you and, and show you how he can use livestock gross margin policies to, uh, for, to help you hedge your cattle and your feed in one easy policy there. And you can probably get some uh, supplements there from the USDA also. But if you're wanting to know more about that, go to nightlatch.net. Talk about your feeder cattle market, your real-time index on DV auction. Late in the day on Monday, sitting at 251.65. That's based on an 800-pound cash auction steer up through your middle 12 states. That was up 40 cents from the end of last week. Uh, saw some strong gains on your big Monday sales like I thought we would because they didn't experience the big gains we saw late last week. Uh, talk about your high-volume sales. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma National Stockyards sold 7,500 head. Feeders were two to five bucks higher. Calves, four to eight bucks higher. It's getting calf time. We got calf orders coming in, guys. Uh, they did note there with good market reporting uh, in Oklahoma City that discounts on the plain cattle were fairly minimal, especially for the fall. Now, as we get into October, especially in the middle of October when it's 80 something, in the daytime and 30 something at night. Uh, there'll be big discounts for, for unweaned cattle and planer cattle and things like that. But that, that kind of surprised me that the, it was uh, enough for them to make a, a point out of it that the discounts were fairly minimal on the plain cattle. And as I told you earlier, before I talk, told you where you could order some cattle, uh, you know, their cattle's cattle. Uh, you know, unless you're taking them to the, to the fair, Nobody's going to give you a, a blue ribbon on the cattle. And, and those, those planer cattle are a lot better than they were 30 or 40 years ago. In fact, in Oklahoma City, they sold 151 head of Mexican origin steers, weighed 615 pounds. They bring 266. What's wrong with that? Uh, you know, I think that's great. I'm sure you didn't have any health problems with the cattle and they gained their heads off. And, and what's the name of the game here? Uh, to scratch out a living, make some money. How about Joplin Regional Stockyards? You know, uh, Jackie Moore there, he doesn't advertise the fanciest cattle in the world there. Uh, they sell a lot of commodity cattle. They've got some of the best cattle you've ever seen. They've got some of the plainest. They've got a lot of in between, but cattle's cattle. They sell 8,100 head in Joplin. Uh, market reporter there called the steers three to six bucks higher, the heifers six to ten dollars higher, and this is the best test of the market I've seen for quite a while. And uh, Joplin is your national beef wire stick out sale of the day. I want you to notice how well tested all the weight groups are there in Carthage, Missouri at Joplin Regional Stockyards. I left the trends on there because the test was very similar to the previous week. Uh, with, with all your uh, weight groups well tested. I don't disagree at all with the way that the Missouri Department of Ag Market Reporter called the market. And, and this is what the market is on cattle in your lower Midwest, guys. This is absolutely the market. 562 head of four weight steers, average 463, with a weighted average price of 280.70. That was up uh, about 64 cents. 
756 head of five weight steers, average 551, with a weighted average price of 272.28, up 80 cents on the weighted average compared to the previous week. 804 head of six weight steers, average 639, with a weighted average price of 264.68, a dollar and a half higher than last week. 482 head of seven weight steers, average 752. The weighted average price of two fifty six fifty nine, a little over five dollars higher than last week. Seven weights are very hot uh, right here early this week, and other sales also. Nine hundred seventy nine head of eight weight steers averaged eight fifty five, with a weighted average price on all of them nearly a thousand of two forty four sixty four, and that was a buck and a half higher than last week. Uh, one lot that helped their individual quote was uh, 87 steers weighed 801 and bring 256 in Carthage, Missouri. How about the heifers? 564 head of four weight heifers average 455. The weighted average price of 256.03. Uh, that's almost 10 bucks higher than last week. People turning on to the heifers, guys, kind of trying to keep their dollars per head lower. 634 head of five weight heifers average 550 at 244.93, about a buck and a quarter higher than last week. 713 head of six weight heifers average 642, weighted average price 244.60, that's uh, three and a quarter higher than last week. 771 head of seven weight heifers average 754, with a weighted average price of 236.73. That was actually a, a little over a buck lower. Uh, and they, they did have some fancy heifers in there last week that, that beat that, but uh, got to be fair with the, with the market trend. How about 510 head of eight weight heifers? They averaged 824, the weighted average price of 227.94, several more than they had last week, but over $11 higher. So that is the market, guys. You can you can scroll back and check that out. That's what the market is. That ain't a, a whorehouse price there uh, or a bell ringer anywhere. That's what cattle are worth, and that's what they bring. Uh, if you want to take them somewhere that they will bring what they're worth, that's really all you're entitled to. Take them to Joplin Regional Stockyards. I'm going to tell you about a premium market in a premium part of the country, Russell, Iowa, Russell Livestock Market. Also a DV auction broadcaster, 2,700 head. They've got farmer feeders right there, guys. They got some of the fanciest cattle you see in the Midwest. Uh, they had fancy calves coming to town for about the first week, really. Uh, last week they had that uh, Labor Day special a week late, uh, and they were mostly yearlings. But they had fancy calves today, and the buyers came to them. Uh, the steers and heifers under 850 sold six to seven dollars higher. That would be some of those fancy feeding calves. Uh, bigger cattle weighing over eight and a half or about four bucks cheaper than the special barbecue special that they had last week. But uh, you look at this Russell Iowa livestock market, I'm just going to call the steers here, and that was lighter receipts of course, but 252 head of five weight steer calves, average 555 in Russell Iowa, the weighted average price of 290.262. Very impressive. 203 had a six weight steers, be fancy. Average 636 at 28275. And 421 had a seven weight, and they'd be calves. Fancy calves, 747 on the weighted average weight, 265.28 weighted average price. How about a couple stick out deals? Tri State Livestock Market, Abington, Virginia. Way out east there, guys. 63 head of steers weighed 805, bring 251. And the most impressive quote that I saw anywhere on Monday, your Macrosin, no BS, top quote for the day, come out of Aberdeen Livestock Sales in Aberdeen, South Dakota. They were 86 steers weighed 616, bring 298. That's your feeder flash for Tuesday.